Hi everyone, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers and today we are backpacking in the Sipsi Wilderness. We are doing the Big Tree Loop Trail, just a one night backpacking trip, not very difficult, but a lot of fun and uh, today I'm hiking with friends. <laughs> For this one night backpacking trip, we decided to do one of my favorite trails, the Big Tree Shortcut Loop Trail. We started at the Thompson Creek Trailhead on the far western side of the Sipsi Wilderness and hiked the loop in a counterclockwise direction. This allowed us to head down Thompson Creek and visit the Ship's Rock and pass through the Needle's Eye before hanging out for a while at the Sipsi Fork Rapids. After that, we continued down the beautiful Sipsi Fork Canyon until we came to a rock overhang where I had planned to camp, but the spot was muddy, so we continued on to a large flat campsite that I knew of right on the Sipsi Fork. There we met up with a couple of nice guys from Memphis and had a great evening of conversation. The next morning, we packed up and headed to the intersection with Trail 204A and took that up the Bee Branch Canyon. At the fork in the creek, we went to the right up East Bee Branch until we reached East Bee Branch Falls and the Big Tree. After exploring the Big Tree area, we headed back down East Bee Branch and then crossed the creek and went up the West Bee Branch to take the shortcut trail steeply up over the ridge and then down until we reached the Thompson Creek. Finally, we went back up Thompson Creek a short distance to return to the trailhead. It was a beautiful trip with fabulous weather and it's always fun to show people the Big Tree for the first time. Here we are at the Thompson Creek. This is uh, essentially the trailhead. We are starting from here. Oh, there's one trail off to the left and one trail to the right. The trail to the left is 208 and uh, it will actually take you the long way around to the big tree if you're just going to the big tree. It's a road nearly all the way. Um, the trail off to the right is 206 and that's the one we're gonna take down to the Needle's Eye and the ship's rock. So off we go. All right, we are at the White Oak Creek and this is White Oak Hollow up here. And uh, we're gonna cross the stream here, continue to follow 206. So if you're looking for the shortest way to get to the big tree, it's that way. That's the White Oak Hollow Trail going off that way. It'll go up this valley ways and then up over top the ridge. That's how we're gonna come out tomorrow. But we're gonna go down 206, which is this way. We have come to Auburn Falls, which is not running real heavy, but it's still pretty. Very nice. All right, we'll cross the boulder field here. Which one it's running heavy can be a little tricky. <laughs> Been there before. Sandstone cliffs are so pretty. I really like them. All right, there is Ship's Rock. Can you see why it's called Ship's Rock? It kind of looks like the Titanic is just beached right here on these boulders. <laughs> Very cool. So we are below Ship's Rock here. There's a nice little campsite here. It's actually kind of a big campsite. And uh, I have camped here before. It's a very nice spot if you're just looking for a short two mile in trip. And then uh, the trail up to the Needle's Eye is straight ahead through this campsite. So off we go. All right, there's Needle's Eye. This is one way through it. If you're a mountain goat, you can go right through here. I didn't say it would be easy. <laughs> hey, 
right now, you're the worst of it's over. Yep. Nice. What do you think? Ooh. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> All right, we're going to go around. <laughs> there is another way to go through the needle's eye. There's actually two ways. You can stay on trail 206, which will take you all the way down to the uh, confluence of the, uh, the Thompson, the Hubbard Creek to form the, uh, the Sipsy Fork. Or you can just go around this rock here and uh, up this way. And we can go through a little hole here. So that's the way we're gonna go. Gotta take packs off, but it's very doable. All right, just passed through there. This is the needle's eye. And we are on the other side. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The forest is different on this side than the other side, isn't it? Yeah. Uh-huh. That it is. Look at this. Yeah. Looks like wood. Yeah, it looks Petrified. like wood. Petrified wood right there. Nice. Yeah, so uh, that's the Sipsy Fork down there. And uh, there's some rapids that we're going to see now down, once we climb down. They're pretty cool also. But that's Needle's Eye. Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> One of my favorite features in the Sipsy. Right up there with Fat Man Squeeze. It's so fun. <laughs> you like things that make you take the pack off. Right. <laughs> this is true. That's the Thompson Creek side down there. And the Sipsy Fork side on this side. This is a really popular place to camp, so I'm guessing we'll see a number of people camp down here at the bottom. But we're going to continue down the Sipsy Fork. All right, leaving Needle's Eye here. We are going to head downhill. Steeply downhill. Till we hit the water. <laughs> yes, slowly downhill also. There's the Sipsy Fork. This area is called the Rapids of the Sipsy Fork. Such pretty water. All right, I think that this is the ford of the, of the Sipsy Fork. I think the sign up here is, yeah, here it is. So 209 is straight ahead. I can't read the other one. This side says 209. But anyway, I know the trail on the other side over there. 
uh, goes, will take you eventually to the uh, Randolph Wild Trailhead down on the highway. And uh, uh, there's also a old cabin up there that you can explore, which is kind of cool. So we're not going to cross the creek today. <laughs> we're going to continue down 209. We have found where I want to camp tonight. It's a rock overhang. Right at the base of the cliffs. And not very far from the creek, which is right down there. I've always thought if you were out here in a thunderstorm, man, this is where I would want to be able to get to quickly. Now, the question is, can we find a dry place to set up? <laughs> that I don't know. Interesting how there's just a stream of water in the back. Given patience, you can fill your water bottle there. <laughs> yeah. Well, so it's not as dry as I remember it being, but we were here in October. Yeah. All right, so uh, my dream of staying at the, uh, the big rock overhang is a little dashed for today. It's awfully muddy. So... Uh, Last time I was here was in the fall and it was dry, so you know, that makes sense. But uh, So it would be an epic place to camp in the uh, drier weather. But uh, it's awfully muddy here, so we're going to go on and find another campsite. So, continuing down the creek. Chini mushroom risotto, fire pot. Nothing like a hot meal. Sweet tea meal. It's or you good. bring it to work to yeah. make myself drink more water. Yeah, yeah, I like their um, raspberry tea one as well. Oh, you don't like that smoke, do you? I think the raspberry tea is the great value. I haven't had it. All right, we are calling it a night. I didn't really get a chance to film when we got into camp last night, but uh, this is our campsite. It's right at a little bend in the uh, Sipsy Fork, and uh, it's very nice. There were uh, a couple of other nice gentlemen here that we uh, spent the evening with, with and uh, that was lovely. All right, we are mostly packed up this morning and are, uh, are heading out pretty soon. It was a beautiful campsite. Very nice. We are gonna be following the Sipsy Fork this morning for a little while until we get to Bee Branch. So that's our next major destination. Pretty water there through those rocks. Cool.
there's some big boulders here. All right, we have just crossed B Branch. Right down here, crossed on that log. It's a little bit of a balancing act, but made it no problem. So now we're gonna follow B Branch up this canyon to the big tree. There are a lot of down trees along this stretch of uh, the trail to get to the big tree. Um, it's just part of the nature of being in a wilderness area. They, there's no official park service or something that clears the trails. So uh, you just got to pick your way through them. All right, we are at the confluence of the east and west B branch creeks. Or at least I think we are. There's a nice little campsite here. So off that way is the West Bee Branch, and that's how we're going to head out today. And off this way is the East Bee Branch, which leads to the big tree. Some seriously down trees here. It's pretty fresh. Lots of big boulders in this canyon. Water flowing down there through the middle of that one. This trail is only a couple miles long, but don't underestimate it. All the uh, down trees and the ups and downs and rocks to navigate. It's a challenge. This tree here is a tree that I call the big enough tree. <laughs> it's not the big tree, but it's pretty big. And there was one time, the first time I ever hiked here, I was with a bunch of uh, young scouts and we were trying to get to the big tree, but we were exhausted and out of water, and this is as far as we went. So we called it the big enough tree. <laughs> we're almost there. That's the big tree. It's the big tree. <laughs> that right there is the big tree. Big tree! <laughs> there is East Bee Branch Falls. Nice little stream today. And it's right behind the big tree. We are heading back down East B Branch to the junction with West B Branch. And that's where we'll take a hard right. We have reached the confluence of the East and West B Branch streams. So this is where we cross the creek to take the shortcut trail back to the trailhead. So. Uh, I think it's right over there. All right, we are at a nice little campsite here where we stopped and took a break, had some snacks. This is the Westby Branch right here. And uh, right up there, we're gonna cross it and start heading uphill to go back over to Thompson Creek. So, off we go. All right, after crossing the West Bee Branch, you just climb straight uphill till you get to these ginormous cliffs.
and then we follow along them to go up the canyon. Quite the rock face. As we approach the head of the canyon, we start having to hop some rocks here and then we're gonna steeply climb up and then there'll be another little box canyon up there that we'll have to negotiate. So off we go. All right, we just climbed up that, believe it or not, from the rocks way down there in the bottom. It's a nice little cascade of water here in front of us that we're gonna cross over here shortly. But that's a climb, that's for sure. We got more climb ahead, but I think that's the steepest part, if I remember right. We're at the uh, top of that little cascade that I showed just a little bit ago. Yeah, you don't want to slip on the rocks here and fall down there. That could be a bad day. Very cool. Now that we've come up out of the canyon, the forest the character of the forest has completely changed. It now looks like most of the rest of North Alabama, <laughs> but uh, it's also a lot warmer up here than it was down in the canyon. Yeah. We were just walking along here and discovered where the water is going under the ground here. And then it's coming out right over there. Interesting. We are now descending down into White Oak Hollow. We have summited the ridge, crossed the old road up there, and are heading downhill now. So it's mostly downhill from here, I think. We are getting close to White Oak Hollow. The little White Oak Creek is down there. Listen to the frogs. They are loving this warm day. Seen a lot of these flowers today. They are so pretty. Pretty and violet. Nice. All right, we have reached the bottom of the hill. This is White Oak Creek. And we're just gonna follow it till we get back to Thompson Creek, which is just right around the corner up here. And then we head back to the car. Woohoo! All right, we have closed the loop, returned to Thompson Creek. This is trail 206. We are back to the Thompson Creek. It's flowing nicely right through here. Very nice. So now we just gotta go to the bridge, which is not very far away. Woo, we have made it back to the trailhead. There's the bridge. 208 goes off that way. You can go all the way over to Borden Creek if you go that direction or back to the big tree even. But we are done. Now we just gotta hike up the road to where our car is parked, which is way up the road. <laughs> there were a lot of people here when we got here yesterday. One last look at Thompson Creek. 